So, what are we at today? <laughs> We're clipping again, Car Carter. <laughs> um, so, we're just going to clip their backs because um, they've got a bit of lice now at this stage. They've only been in about four weeks, but we're going to give them a dose then as well of um, IMEC um, for lice, lungworm. Um, maybe what else to be on it? Uh, yeah, worms, lungworms, mange, warbles, mites. So, they won't be licking then when they're inside all. All the winter. Um. So just a couple of lines on the back. It just helps keep them cool and hopefully kill the lice as they go across the back. They won't have nowhere to lay their eggs or anything like that. So. Great window for you. They're getting a haircut. So you're a lot cleaner, aren't you? Done. Don't be afraid of Connor and Ogres. Not that bad. Come on. Easy now. Easy. Up you go. Go on. Go on. There we go. Up you go. Go on. Up, up. That's it. Up you go. Up you go. So, it's a dirty job, but it keeps the heifers a lot cleaner and easier to deal with them than when they're bullying. And and the AI man comes to AI them. And they look a lot fresher as well anyhow. But all these heifers are on now at the moment with the silage, that's it. They'll be on silage. We'll be giving them a small bit of nuts. And um, before we decide to go bulling them, but they won't be starting, we won't be bulling them until the third week in January. Um, They've already got BVD injection and they've already got an IBR injection. And all they'll be getting from now on is uh, let's go today and uh, the pour on. Yeah, nothing fancy with this now, it's just, just his main thing. And these are the replacements for mixture or for mixture sale in cafes. Uh, we're doing, we have 65 to do today, so, long day ahead, and a dirty day ahead, and a good show at the end of this. Yeah, it wasn't something we used to do, 
But uh, it just keeps the heifers uh, working on eating and thriving as opposed to licking themselves all day long, you know. So now I'm going to give them my um, iMac pour, pour on now. Um, so it's one mil for every 10 kilos. So she's around 600 kilos. So we'll give her 60 mil. That'd be two full squirts. Just along the back. Um, and hopefully that'll help with the lice. She won't be licking. But they're all about 600 kilos. I mean, we do have a weighing scale there, but I'll weigh them again when they're going out just to see how much they put on. And it's a lot easier this is than dosing them down the throat. But ones we think that are could do with a dose, we do have a, a dosage there that's a lot better for them, but these are healthy, they look healthy. There's no problems with them, so if a heifer wasn't thriving, that's what we'd give them instead. No, the sale went well. Um, we brought in 68 heifers and out of the 68, we sold 62. Um, Everyone keeps telling me that the, the sale went well, you got great prices, but I believe that we got what the heifers were worth. Um, a couple of them went over and above what I thought they would go, um, but the majority of them hit the mark. Um, the ones that didn't, the six I brought home, they were meant to be rerun, but we forgot about it on the night. I got a bit too excited, but um, we've calved all them anyhow ourselves. And um, yeah, look, happy with it. It's roll on next year, then again, and find the replacements to do it again which are difficult to do at the moment. We have 65 bought. Um, we only need another five or so left to get, but um, we've picked out a few that we don't think are gonna make it and they'll go again, maybe in February and we'll buy different ones maybe. We'll see what happens. Um, but yeah, no, it's been difficult to buy them. There are a lot more expenses than the world year before. Um, not sure why exactly, but there just seems to be a demand for breeding heifers at the moment. Um, that's why we decided just to buy a few Wayneland's. If we see a good Wayneland, we buy a few of them, um, but not too many. Yeah, same same type of heifers we've gone for. Um, we have a few more that have color, to be fair, and we bought a few more showier ones, maybe to bring a different different buyer, but all in all, we're, we're sticking to what we did this year because it worked out. Um, heifers that went 2.4 and 2.5 that the heifers we're trying to find again that will make the same next year and produce the same sort of calf and you've seen the calves here yourself we calfed five out of the the six um ourselves and um yeah look there seem to be good quality calves anyone who has had any calves so far i know about 35 that's calfed and um, there's been two operations i know that and we've had an operation ourselves and um, all in all though, not, not too bad considering like you're dealing with heifers and... So the night itself, look, it, it, when, when we, brought, we brought them all in the night before, um, majority of them, and we brought some of them, probably about 15 of them the next morning. The ones that were heavier in calf, um, we left them kind of at home just in case because there was two, a couple of them very close to calf and, on the night. Um, with that said, I, I was expecting a crowd to be there, but uh, I was talking to some guy around half six, and when I turned around, Jesus Christ, the, the, the sea of people that came in the door um, kind of blew me away and wasn't expecting it at all. And even, as you know yourself, Connor, there was no room to even do the video of the, <laughs> video of the, the sale itself. So I think we'll stick up a few pictures of the, of the prices and the calves. Um, yeah, look, and Everyone seemed to be happy with the heifers they've got. Um, I've had no complaints as such. Um, so the, the heifers for this year, um, look, all they're getting is silage and they won't be getting anything until we want to bring them into heat a bit quicker. Um, they'll be getting maybe 
kilo or two kilos a day for about three or four weeks just to bring them into heat. Um, we might catch them a bit easier as they're bowling. Um, so we, we, like I said, we have 65. Hopefully by the, the end of January, we'll have the 75 or so heifers. We're only going to do 75 this year. We're not going to do 100 like we did last year. Um, simply because it was, there was enough of work in that 70 for that sale. Um, and hopefully we can get the 70 in calf. We'll probably have to buy 75 or 80. But they've all been injected with um, Lepto. Um, they've just got the pour on now. Um, that should help with lice that they won't be licking so much and um, yeah that's really all we can do with them until they're going calf then we'll give them boluses once they're scanned in calf and uh, hopefully we, we looked at we bought a, a pelvic measurer this year um, hopefully we can eliminate that one heifer that might have a small pelvis for calfing just take it out of the equation now it might be a gadget or a gimmick but it may work correctly just to, to, to get rid of that one heifer so it won't give anyone a problem when they're, they're calving, you know. So we still have, we still have um, 14 heifers to sell, uh, in-calf heifers, and we have six heifers, well, we have five heifers with calves at foot, but I'm waiting for one more to calf. Once she calves in, we'll, we'll sell them maybe in the third week of January. Um, but we're just going to hold off until they're closer to calving because they look a lot better.